morning and happy Saturday. I said that really weird. Saturday. It's Saturday. Saturday. It is the uh, something of February. 20 something. I don't know. It's on the screen. Well, it was on the screen. It's a Saturday and today I am going to be quilting my pixelated rose quilt. I mean, I'm hoping. I've got my fingers crossed that it's all going to work out. I am so scared about quilting this quilt and I don't know why. No, I do know why. I think because the last time I tried to quilt it, I had such an awful, awful time, an awful experience. I just, oh, it was so, it just puckered, it just went all wrong, and, and so ever since I've just been scared just to redo it. But I have haven't pinned basted it this time, because that's what I did last time, and it just didn't work. So this time I've spray basted, which is what I usually do, I don't know why I just didn't do it the first time. But I spent Thursday afternoon basting it and I'm paying for it because I'm in pain. So now it's finally time to baste it. I oh, know, quilt it. I don't know, one of them. So I've set my sewing machine up. I've put, I've got a full bobbin in the machine and then I've just done another three full bobbins. So we're ready to go. I've changed the needle. It's all set up, ready to go. I just have to get the quilt and start quilting. Yay! So that's very exciting. Do you like the little pouch I made for all of my sewing accessories? I don't know whether I showed you this before. Whether I did an Instagram or... I don't know, but I did a little boxy uh, pouch. I have a tutorial for this if you'd like to see it. I will link it somewhere either on the screen or down below. Possibly both. So this version, for the one that I made, is I actually put on little loops on the ends. In the tutorial I don't do that, but you can easily just put that in there. This has got all of my sewing accessories in it and then I lined it with this awesome cross kind of canvas. I can't see it. Why can't you see it? There. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, this cross canvas fabric. So I love this little pouch. It's just perfect to hold all of the accessories for my machine. And I love the fabric. Here, this one. It's got little bears on it which is really sweet. But anyway, that's a nice little tangent we went on then. But anyway, machine is all ready to go. I just have to get the quilt and get started. But before I do, shall we do a little spotlight haul? Let's, 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 let's. What's a vlog without a spotlight haul? I haven't done a spotlight haul in quite a while, so actually none this year yet. That's okay. But I have two bags that have some fabric in it. This one, not very much, but the other one has a little bit more. I actually bought this a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a week and a bit ago. No, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago I bought this one and it's still in the bag. I just chucked it on my table and forgot about it. First I got, it's really hard to see, but this is a white on white fabric. And it's got these gorgeous little white triangles all over it. I wonder if we can make it focus. Can you kind of see that? Oh, with, when the light gets it, you can kind of see it. But it's just got all these lovely little, tiny little white triangles over it. And I thought that was really quite nice. Something a bit different to just a plain white. So... I think I got about two and a half meters of that. It was what was left on the bolt, so we'll use it for something. And then I got a remnant, this was like another leftover piece, of our beautiful Dumbo license fabric. I love this print. It is so adorable and it's not gonna forget. Focus on Dumbo. Yeah, I just think it's the sweetest thing ever. I picked this up as an 80 centimeter remnant because it had a seam. It's got a seam line here and that happens a lot with our fabrics and people don't want to buy it. So we cut it off and we make it a remnant. And if you're lucky, we grab the piece first. That's one of the perks of working at Spotlight. Sorry, not sorry. And then yesterday while I was at work, I bought stuff as well. And we have these new uh, bags spotlight bags and I really like this one so I got it. Let's take the feet off. Uh, yeah so this one's full of fabrics and then one craft item that I'm hopefully going to do sometime soon. I have I want to do like like a countdown thing to my trip uh, to the UK. Kind of like my Christmas countdown llama but not with blocks. I'm going to do it with like flippy pieces of paper. So I saw a thing on Pinterest that puts like foam into a photo frame and then you put hooks and then you can hang your, your numbers and stuff. So I think I'm going to do that. So I bought some cork foam sheets. Cork, is that what they are? Adhesive cork sheets. 
I only wanted one, but I had to buy a pack of ten, so we're going to have to find something to do with that. And I'll possibly maybe do a tutorial on that. I'll possibly, I'll obviously tweak it a little bit to make it more for me, but yeah, it's just finding that idea and then making it into my own. So yeah, expect a London countdown, countdown to UK London trip calendar thing soon. That could not make any more sense. Okay, we'll do remnants first. I love buying remnants because one, they're cheap, and two, I, I never really need a lot of fabric. So this one is a Cloud9 fabric. I love Cloud9 fabrics. I'm just trying to see if it has the, the range on it, on the selvage. This one's called Cloud9 Organic Petunias, and it's this lovely yellowy print that is just so gorgeously 70s. I love it so much. I love these colors. It's like a yellowy pink with white. So cool, I love it. And then I got another 80 centimeters of another Cloud9 fabric. This is called Organic Ivy Floral. And I think I already have some of this. Yes, I have some of this. I have some of this range already. And I did a block from some of these fabrics, which is actually in my bag full of projects to do this year <laughs> or to finish this year. But yeah, I already have some of this fabric, that's what I'm trying to say. But I got just got some more because I love it so much love this blue with the pinks on it really nice and then the other one is just a christmas fabric and i thought this one's so cool it's got koalas flamingos and they're either kangaroos or wallabies or a bilby i don't know what it is but it's just super cute and so kitsch i love it so it's got flamingos some koalas and then this thing i don't know is this a kangaroo a wallaby a bilby i don't know what it is but yeah it's marsupial like and then finally, at the moment, Spotlight have a sale on the Fat Quarters, and it was 10 for 10. So I got 10 Fat Quarters that I don't need, but I just loved. When they have these sales, these ones are usually really quite good sort of prints. So we'll just go through each one really, really quickly. So we've got bees, cute little flowers. This one is very Calf Kids and you like. I love it. I think I have another one that's like that. Then I have a pink one that's similar to it. This one with the greenery on it. I love these colours. This one has like, it's almost like under the sea kind of things, like seaweed and shells and stars. I just really like the colours. Again, the colours of this one with the florals. Again, the colours of this one with the florals. I love this. This is really sweet. And this. I love it. I love this one with the directional lines. And I love the navy on the white. Really cool. And then this is the one that inspired me to get all of these fat quarters. One with little cacti and succulents on it. No, it's just cacti. I really like that one. Okay, so I think I'm all ready to go. Don't mind the washing machine in the background. But I've cleared my desk a little bit more. I've just moved a few things out of the way. I've got water. I've got my bobbins ready. I've got my quilting gloves. And I've also put a, a collapsible table in here as well. What I'm going to do is it's going to go here. It's going to go there like that. I'm going to sit here, machine. And what this will do is it'll just take the weight of the quilt that will be sort of hanging off the machine on my left hand side. It'll just make things a lot easier, I think. So hopefully that will work. But now let's go and get this beast of a quilt and get started. Woo. Okay, so here she is. She just takes up so much room. Holy moly. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this up or roll it up to about the center and I'm going to start sewing the smaller width. So across the quilt first and I'll make my way this way. Once I've done that we'll turn it around. I'll roll up this side and go from the center and work out that way. I'm not planning on finishing all the quilting today. I just think that's like way too much to even set as a goal at least maybe getting like half of one direction finished today and then depending on how i feel i might do the other half later on this afternoon but we'll see how we go first i'm really excited i'm excited but i'm scared at the same time i'm just so like hesitant to get started because i'm just worried about it just screwing up again and like it's like being burnt once and then one, yeah, and then not doing it again because I've I know that I've I yeah it didn't work the first time so now I'm like ah 
I don't want to, but I want to at the same time because I want to get this done because I'm sick of talking about it and I'm sure you're sick of me just going on and on and on and on, on about this quilt. And I also have a deadline to get this finished. My deadline is the 29th of March, which I know is still, no, it's like four weeks away. So I need to get this done. And actually it's three weeks because there's a week that I'm going on holiday. So I need to get this done. We just need to suck it up and do it and just, Anyway, let's, let's do it. Fingers crossed it works. Please, please, please just let this, just let it go good. Just please. <laughs> Someone. I've only seen two lines but success it's working I think I think I think it's working but oh it's gonna take a long time like it's easy to quilt on the edges but once it sort of gets in the middle where you're kind of like balancing the weight of the quilt it's really hard to feed it through so I sort of have to go a little bit slower and you know really you know channel my patience become a Jedi and just calmly do what needs to be done but it's working. I'm so glad. I'm just going to plug away now. I've got John Mayer playing on my speaker because John Mayer is my favourite person ever. Well, he's not my favourite person. He's my favourite singer. Anyway, I'm going to show you the stitches. They're not perfect because I'm ha cause I keep having to stop and start and push it through. So the stitches are a little bit inconsistent, but I really don't care. I don't care whatsoever. I just want this quilted and done. And you're not really going to notice it. You can only no notice it close up but when you're far away you can't really you're not going to notice the stitch length and if people are judging me on stitch length then go get a life sorry <laughs> that was really rude of me to say but you know what i mean just it is what it is Ta -da! so this is what i mean by like inconsistency in stitch length so this one's really long you've got really short ones here but you know it is what it is and it's doing what i want so yay so what i'm going to do is i'm sewing two lines down at the seam we're going to skip one and then do another two lines down this one, skip one and then do another one. When I go this way, it's going to be two lines, skip one, two lines, skip one. So it's going to be like a grid type pattern. So yay, a sea of squares, beautiful. I'm just going to just zen out and get some of this done. Happy days. time I've done the first quarter yay so that half that I was doing it's done and I think it looks pretty good it's not perfect but I'm not aiming for perfection I'm aiming for finished <laughs> so there we go a little bit of quilty texture there very nice so I've done that section now I've got to do this section and all the way down and then we're gonna go the other way but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm starving it's time for lunch after lunch I'll get into the other half thoughts so far it is I'm actually having lots of fun I'm really really enjoying it you know how you like put off something forever and ever and ever because you know that it's gonna be painful it's gonna be hard things aren't gonna go the way that you want them to so far that's been the complete opposite quilting this it's just been really easy and really fun and quick I thought this was gonna take me forever but there is a very strong possibility maybe getting it finished today like the quilting that is or at least by the end of the weekend because if I don't finish it today I'll possibly finish it tomorrow which is unbelievable to think like I've just sat on this quilt so much and just procrastinated over it but it's getting done and it's getting done quicker than I thought it would and I ain't complaining because I want it done. So, yay, happy days. Let's eat, I'm hungry. 
Okay, update time. It's a couple of hours later. It's, oh, hang on, let's, let's just check what the time is. It is 10 to 4, and I am halfway through quilting. Yay! So I've quilted the whole, la, what is it? The, hang on. <laughs> uh, is it the length or the width? I've, I've quilted the whole width of the quilt the whole way down. Does that make sense? Now I'm quilting down the length of the quilt. I'm really happy with just how quick and easy this is, like, coming together. I just can't believe it. Why did I leave this for so long to get finished? Yeah, I just, I'm really happy. It's been a happy, productive day. So, yay. There we go. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. It's not perfect. Again, I'm not aiming for perfection. I'm aiming for finished. I've selected quite a long stitch length. I'm just under four on my little dial. So this is the stitch length I'm doing on the quilt. So it's almost at four, but not quite. And it's producing that sort of length stitch. And I found that when I look at the quilt from far away, it looks a little bit like the texture that you get when you hand quilt. And I'm really liking that. I'm really, really digging that sort of textural effect. So I think once I start quilting the other way, it's, it's going to look really really lovely and lovely and like textury and and just really nice i may as well just keep going i think why not i mean i'm i'm in a happy mood i'm i'm nothing else to do really to be honest so yeah i'm just gonna keep going and see how far i can get today if i can finish it today that would be like a huge miracle like an insane miracle but i'm not putting pressure on myself We'll just go with the flow and, and see how far we can get before I, I've had enough. <laughs> so let's keep going. Ready for another update? It's a little bit later on. I think it's like 5.30 or something like that. Oh, it's quarter to six. A little bit later than what I thought. And I am three quarters of the way through quilting. Ah, oh, so happy. I think that's the word for the day. Just happy. So I thought before I sort of finish this last quarter, or the quarter that I'm working on, I'd show you what I'm actually doing when I'm quilting, like what my actual technique is. It's very very simple very very easy just to sort of get the effect that I've got well you can kind of see it I mean it looks so much better in real life but this is the kind of vibe we're going for so it's sort of like a really nice double lined grid type thing and the way that I achieve this is I've just put the edge of the my walking foot along the seam line that I'm uh, sort of like sewing against and it's just made this sort of just this sort of really nice texture I mean, with this kind of quilting, you do sometimes get little puckers like this, but it's actually not all that bad with this quilt, which is very surprising. So that's what I do to get this design of quilting, uh, and it looks really good. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit, a bit hard with the camera in my hand. So I'm just guiding the quilt along that edge. Am I doing this? Oh, I'm going a bit squiffy. Yeah, we'll do it this way. So that's how I'm doing it just the edge of the foot just along that seam and just yeah just taking my time with it super super simple also big tip of the day I think the one thing that's made today a whole lot easier is by having this table next to me you can see if I didn't have this table here this would all be like dragging and if this was dragging then it drags on the sewing machine as well and then makes my stitches all squiffy. Having this table here is taking is taking so much of the weight of the quilt out of my hands and I'm not sort of fighting with it. So I think if you're if you're quilting something this big and you have the space available, try and get like a little table just to sit next to you. 
just so it can take the strain of this big quilt just sitting next to you and you're not fighting and trying to get it to just go through the machine properly so this little table has definitely been my day and just made this whole quilting session that I've had just so so easy and just really relaxing I mean I am hemmed in but I'm able to just easily move the table out of the way when I need to have a break or need to have lunch or go wee or something like that but yeah just really 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 helpful this little table has been and I'm so happy I thought of it <laughs> before I started quilting because I'm like this quilt is so big I'm gonna need something there to just hold it and yeah it's just been such a great idea so yay for me Sunday uh, just excuse the wet curly hair as soon as I got out of the shower I'm like I just want to start quilting and get this done uh, and that's what I'm doing I've uh, done another two four lines two little bits but four lines this morning with a couple more to go and then I finished quilting the quilt yes and then it's on to binding, which I cannot believe. I'm so excited that it's getting, that it's coming together just so quickly. Like I was so, as I mentioned yesterday, I, I've just put this quilt off for so long because I knew that it would just take forever and it was going to be so hard to quilt, but it hasn't. Sorry, I'm just, I wanted to show you the decisions that I had for binding and the conclusion that I've come to. So I had, so I'm just going to take my glove off. I had three different choices when it came to binding. Hello Charlie! It was a hard choice choosing between them whether they would work or not. So I'll show you the ones that I've eliminated and then the one I'm actually going to use. So my first choice, initially I was going to do this stripey candy type binding because I really like a stripe binding because it would just give that sort of, I don't know, just a little bit of a, a texture to it but then I thought if I use a darker color and this is the reason why I chose not to use the green as well is that it would really frame the outside of the quilt and I don't really want it to have like a really stark binding so like I did with my quilt along quilt oh, let me just get rid of these I am using a really nice uh, off creamy type color and I think that'll add just a really nice subtle border binding edge because I really like the effect that it gives I mean I have my quilt up here on the walls my crown of thorns wall hanging and the binding is a really nice creamy kind of color and it just I think it just suits it really nicely so I think that kind of effect is going to be the same with this quilt very much like the effect that I used on my quilt along quilt I mean, in fact, this is exactly the same fabric that I used for the binding on my uh, mini block sampler quilt. So, uh, yeah, and I think I'm pretty sure I have enough fabric here. I think I'm going to have to do at least nine, I think nine, maybe even ten meters worth of binding. That's ten, two and a half inch strips. So pretty sure I'll have enough. I've got a couple more lines to uh, quilt and then... Quilting will be finished, hurrah! And then we can get on with, with binding. But before I do my binding, I'm gonna do a little bit more quilting, but before that, I need to sort out my hair. I think I'm going to straighten it, because I haven't straightened it since I got a cut. I think the cut that I got looks really nice when it's straight. So, oh, just hair everywhere. <laughs> Happy days, I am now onto my very last line in my quilting, and then it's gonna be finished. We'll finish quilting anyway so I'm going to pop you on a very very quick time lapse while I do my last quilting line Huzzah! a nice feel. 
feeling to have it finished, quilted. Woo! <sighs> Happy days. I turn you off. Thank you. My beautiful, lovely sewing machine. Lovely. Look at all those lovely quilty lines. Mm. I can definitely say it is definitely far from perfect. It's not like the quilting lines are not perfect as I mentioned yesterday. But again, as I mentioned yesterday, I am not aiming for perfect. I'm aiming for finished. <laughs> and it is finished almost kind of. The I think the hardest part is over. Uh, which always feels really, really great. So I'm just trying to move this table out the way. Which has just made it just the job of quilting is so much easier sorry I'm just I'm just putting like my sewing room back all into place while I'm trying to vlog as I want to say look at how dirty my quilting gloves are since quilting this quilt I don't know whether it's dust or whether it's spray I don't know what it is but look at how dirty my gloves are that's the top and that's the back so like all the palms are dirty in here so I'm definitely gonna have to wash them but I'm assuming it's just like oh there, there you go without the see look how dirty they are <laughs> it's so gross so whether that's just from accumulated dust that's been on the quilt because this has been like you know in and out of rooms for the last year or it's from the basting spray or I don't know but Hmm, I didn't think it would be that dirty, but I am actually going to give this a wash once I've put the binding on I'll wash it I don't know whether to wash it before I label it or label it and then wash it I don't know. I'll figure that out. I've made I have made a label for it. I made a label for it uh, Like uh, in the middle middle of last year, I think while I was going through my hexy face I made oh it's a it's dusty that's that shows just how long it's been sitting there since I made it so I made this hexi flower and what I'm thinking is I might do like a bigger whiter flower to stick behind it so that it doesn't get lost in the backing fabric so that's the hexi flower on the backing fabric I'm going I think I'm going to out of bigger hexes make a white one so that I can put that on top of the white so that it stands out yeah I think that's a good idea and then I'm going to I think I'm gonna make the effort I'm gonna embroider a pixelated rose quilt I think just in the center and then on the white one around the edge I'll do my name and the date that it was completed I think that's a good idea so although one sort of section is finished there's still lots to do what's the time I'm gonna have some lunch I might straighten my hair before then as well and then we'll go get into the binding later on this afternoon and yeah then I can sit tonight and just hand bind in front of the TV <gasps> that sounds like a great idea yes yay I'm totally gonna do that binding now I just have to sew it on by hand at the back but it's almost done almost 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 I actually thought I was going to use a whole jar of uh, my craft clips for the binding but I end up didn't I thought I'd actually use all of them and then have to use my old clips I have a tin of these old sort of clips like this that I used to use there you go that I used to use for my binding but I didn't have to use them so happy days so now I'm just going to get some matching thread for the binding and sit down and do some hand sewing 
this is going to be the part I think that takes the longest. I'm not going to get this finished today, I don't think. But that's okay. I am like well ahead of schedule than what I thought I would be. So yay. I'm very happy. Even though I don't look good. <laughs> I, am, I am very happy on the inside. And at a stage of relief. That I don't have to sort of rush to get things done because that's the kind of person I am I procrastinate until the last minute and leave things to the last minute and panic I've always been like that even when I was in high school I would leave assessments and essays and stuff till almost the last day and I still did good I don't know I think it just um it made me work harder I think because I knew that I had to do it I had no other choice. Anyway, I'm gonna do some hand sewing. I actually, I think I might make a cup of tea. Maybe raid the fridge for some chocolate. I deserve some chocolate, I think. Yes. And then, yeah, do some sewing. Happy days. Oops, what have I done? Ooh. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I have very good news. Yesterday, I finished my quilt. Uh, actually, I think I got like I got 95% done. So the actual quilt is finished. I finished doing hand sewing all of the binding yesterday while I watched the Oscars. And oh my gosh, that ceremony just goes on and on and on. Like three and a half hours or something like that. So I definitely got it finished <laughs> in that time. And I think it looks really, really great. There's a nice little glimpse for you. It's all lovely and finished on the back. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So today I think I'm going to actually give the quilt a wash because it's a little bit grubby along the bottom from when I had it hanging up in our kitchen for a while. And because it's white, it's just a little bit like grubby and there's a couple of little dirty spots on it. So I'm hoping with a wash in the washing machine and then I'm going to put it in the dryer. Hopefully those little spots will come out. Otherwise... I'm just gonna have to deal with it there's nothing else i can really do i'll show you the spots that i mean so i've got like a little spot here one here another little one here there's one up here too oh there's another one here oh, it's hard to see so i'm hoping with a wash that those little spots will come out i mean they are at the bottom of the quilt and you can't see them far away so if they don't come out i'm not I'm not all too worried. So I'm going to wash that today and then as that's washing and drying I'm going to focus on the quilt label and I will put the label on once it's dried. I think I don't really want to put the label through the wash. So yesterday I also made my little white ring of hexes. I think I told you how I'm thinking of planning on doing my label. I don't know but I'll show you again anyway. So I'm going to put the white ring there so that it pops from the printed fabric then I'm going to put my hexi flower on top like that so that it stands out oh yeah that looks okay yeah I think I like that I've written in the middle pixelated rose quilt just in pencil because I'm going to embroider this later on today I'm going to applique this onto uh, onto the top of this one and then I'm going to embroider around the edge made by Amanda February 2019 and I'm going to do the, both of those in black and these little black bits of thread aren't going to be there they're just my basting threads so that's what I'm going to concentrate on doing today and hopefully the goal for the end of the day is to have it 100% finished that's very exciting that's a very exciting prospect and I think we can definitely do it uh, if we apply ourselves, we will get it done and then you'll be able to see the finished, the finished thing. Okay, so I totally changed my mind. I'm actually not going to wash my quilt. I don't know. I sort of stood here uh, for about 10 minutes. <laughs> just, um, I don't know, just thinking and pondering and trying to make up my mind. But I decided not to wash it. I think it should be okay. I might, if it really bothers me, I might try and like spot wash those little spots just with um, some warm water or something. If it if it's really bugging me, that's I think that's what I'll do. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna wash it. Uh, and also, I have a feeling it's not gonna fit in our washing machine. <laughs> our washing machine's quite tiny, and this quilt is huge. So it'll definitely fit in our dryer, but not in our washing machine. So I'm not gonna wash it. 
I think it should be okay. I'm going to catch up on some YouTube watching while I do the first little embroidery bit of my label. And yeah, hopefully it works out. Fingers crossed. So it's a couple of hours later and I'm I'm getting ahead in my quilt label thing. I've spent the morning doing a lot of uh, the hand embroidery. Before I had my lunch, I applied it all onto whoa, the back of the quilt. And now I just need to do my last little bit of hand sewing around the edges to attach it to the actual quilt. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I think I could have done this a little bit better. This is where it says made by Amanda uh, and then the date, but it's kind of the effect that I wanted. I just wanted to have like a really nice handmade um, like writing there and yeah, so I think, I think it looks okay. It, it looks better in real life than it does on camera in my opinion, but yay. So I'm just going to do a really small intricate uh, buttonhole or blanket stitch around the edges as I usually do but I'm going to make it yeah really quite fine and small just because I think it sort of suits that I don't want to do anything too chunky or big for this one I just just on the machine I just sewed it around the edges here I took the stitch length on my machine down to a two so it's a really small delicate type stitch and I think it looks really nice so we'll just do a really small delicate buttonhole stitch around the edges and then the, the quilt is officially finished as I mentioned I chickened out washing it I decided not to wash it because I don't know I just I'm just too scared to <laughs> so I might I'll possibly give it a press and then we'll hang it up and do some pictures oh I didn't iron that one very well oh yeah I'll either do pictures today i'm wondering whether i should like take it to an actual location and take some pictures of it because it's a big quilt and i think it's worthy of it Happy days! Just did the last stitch in my embroidery and it's completed! Happy days! I'm so happy. I'm I'm tired, but I'm happy. Yay! Those are my tiny little stitches. And I'm very happy with it. So I think tomorrow I will take it out and do a little bit of photography on it. And I'll also vlog like the actual finished quilt in its entirety so uh, and it also doesn't look like I'm all that excited but I am I'm just like you know when you you've spent so much time on one thing in this case this quilt you just once it's finished just it's like oh gosh like you're just so mentally and physically exhausted by it kind of like 1am right now like it doesn't feel real that it's now finished because it's just been in a state of unfinished for so long and now it's finished it's sort of hard to realize that it's finished so it's finished yay and I honestly I know I've said it a million times I could not be happier with the way that it's turned out yeah I'm just really happy with how everything came together and just this beautiful quilt that I can now love forever Anyway, I'm so tired by this. I don't know why. I'm going to have a cup of tea and some chocolate as a as a congratulations treat. I think that sounds pretty good to me. Yay. So I've actually decided to do the photography for this quilt at home. I'm going to pop it up on the fence that I used to always put my quilts up. So there's a really nice wisteria plant growing on a fence. So I'm just trying to open the door. Oh, my hands are full. And I've got the puppy with me as well. Oh, I'm getting hooked on everything. Why? So, it's actually quite a full bush. 
Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna work. Well, we'll put it up and we'll see. Where can we put it, Charlie? I think right there should be all right. Yes, it's not for you. Ow! You're gonna get out of my shot. So here it is in all its glory. It looks so lovely. Just going to, oh hi Charlie. Don't worry about treading all over it. Yeah, it's such a beauty. Oh, it's so lovely, I love it. So here's a little bit more of it up close. And the quilting as well, if it's focusing, I can't see. You can see the quilting a bit better on the green bits because they're darker. But yeah, that's what I did. It looks really nice. I mean, you can definitely get the whole effect from far away. It's definitely one of those far away quilts. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It looks good. I feel a little bit lost now. I don't really know what to do. Like it's done. What else is there to do with what my life? <laughs> this quilt is finished. I'm gonna put a meme up on the screen now. I think it sort of reflects and sums up what I'm feeling right now. So enjoy that, but happy days. I'm now gonna edit this vlog and hopefully i should be able to get it up tomorrow i think so yay beautiful so i've just been spending the last couple of hours editing the vlog and i thought i'd better end it <laughs> i better actually wrap it up and uh and and put this last little bit on the end thank you all very much for watching i would like to say Thank you for everyone's lovely comments on my quilt on Facebook and Instagram. We've been on this journey together, I think. Right from the beginning all the way to the end, I have documented it and shared this with you. And so it's almost like, you know, we've done this together. So thank you all so much for your lovely messages. I really do appreciate it. If you at all live in the Sydney area and know about the Easter show, and you're planning on going to the Easter show, then you will very luckily be able to see my quilt, hopefully. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna be displayed, but I have entered my pixelated rose quilt and my quilt along quilt into the Sydney Royal Easter show, into their arts like competition stuff. So I've entered it into the quilting section. So hopefully, if nothing happens between now and the end of March when I have to hand in my quilts, then you will see these at the Easter show. So with that, thank you very much for sticking it out with me and also for still being here. This is a very long vlog. At the moment, it's 40 plus minutes. So gold star to you and a big thumbs up, of course, uh, if you are still watching and have enjoyed watching as well. Oh my gosh, this camera is so heavy sometimes. So very awkwardly from this angle, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again another time very soon. Bye.